YouTube continues to demonetize many videos. If you like this channel, please click on my Patreon page. Link in the description. What's happening, gamers? John here, and oh my god! <laughs> no, seriously, damn. I know I'm late for the party, but I've been trying to avoid the subject in a way, but then I decided to talk about it. So, what can I say about the Buffy the Vampire Slayer reboot, ladies and gentlemen? Well, it was an iconic TV series that aired on the CW, then known as the WB at the time. It aired from 1997, and moved to UPN in 2001, and the show had its last airing in 2003. But what kickstarted the series that starred Sarah Michelle Gellar in it? The movie released in 1992 that starred Christy Swanson as a character. Yes, I remember that movie very well, which not too many people loved, but I did, and that's exactly what kickstarted the show. In that movie, I remember Paul Rubens being a vampire. Luke Perry going from a douche to being Buffy's sidekick and later love interest. And I remember Rutger Hauer was the vampire lord Lothos. We also know that Buffy was created by the one and only Joss Whedon himself. After the show went off the air, it kept on going on comic books introducing new characters, new adventures, and so on. Not to forget that Buffy was one of the most progressive TV shows of all time which had LGBT characters and also dealt with teen issues, teenage angst, and so on. I wasn't a big, big watcher of the show, but I did see a lot of episodes and also enjoyed the episode Hush and her fight against Dracula himself. <sighs> so now, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is getting a reboot and this time the character is African American. Wow. In this age of diversity and inclusion, people want to reboot things and change the race, gender, and sexuality of characters to make people feel represented. So here's a story, folks. Midnight Texas creator Monica Owusu Breen has been tapped as writer, executive producer, and showrunner of the new Buffy the Vampire series with the original series creator and showrunner Joss Whedon set to executive produce alongside original series executive producers Gail Berman, Fran and Kaskazui, as well as Joe Early from Berman's Jackal Group. The new version, which will be pitched to streaming and cable networks this summer, will be contemporary building on the mythology of the original. Per the producers, like our world, it will be richly diverse, and like the original, some aspects of the series could be seen as metaphors for issues facing us all today. According to sources, the diversity in the show's description reflects the producer's intention for the new Slayer to be African American. The sources caution that the project is still in nascent stages with no script and many details are still in flux. So let us not forget that Buffy spawned a very successful spin-off titled Angel, which first aired in 1999 and ended in 2003. But Angel also continued in comic books as well, much like Buffy, and one of my favorite characters, Faith, had her own comic book as well. Now, some people may be happy about this, but here's what got me rolling with laughter. Anita Sarkeesian was not happy about this reboot. Our good friend Anita tweeted out the following. I just screamed, no, at the top of my lungs. Why God, no, please for the love of all that is good, please do not do this. She also said, I'd be here for a show based in the same universe and lore, say for instance around Frey, the comic, but Buffy comes from a very specific moment in media history, especially feminist media history. I'm afraid no matter how talented the folks involved are, it won't live up to it. For once in my life, I agree with Anita Sarkeesian. I'm not truly fond of her, but for once, I agree with her. Now why I agree with her? Well, because we all know that reboots suck. Most of them anyway. Now, a lot of people will hate that this new version of Buffy had a color change 
And that's understandable, because if you're going to make a reboot of something and you want characters of different races, sexes, and sexual orientations, then create brand new ones that can win us over instead of changing an original character's race, or gender, or sexual orientation. I mean, look at the 2015 Ghostbusters movie. I mean, the Fantastic Four movie, for God's sakes. In the comics, Johnny Storm was white. Not to be racist, but I didn't like how they changed his color in that movie. Don't get me wrong, Michael B. Jordan is a great actor. He won us over with Creed, and he was at his greatest playing the character of Killmonger in Black Panther. Now what can I say? I can tell that this Buffy reboot is like Anita's own version of the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, which sucks so much ass. While I agree with Anita on this, at the same time I feel the need to tell her this. Anita, you let the charge to get all that SJW crap into video games. You championed this and the destruction of a lot of things that we love with all that SJW crap. You reap what you sow. A lot of you might have seen this already and some of you may have not. Just don't forget to comment, share, rate, and subscribe. This is John, host of Video Games in the World. Have a good one. Bye-bye.